Hey guys, welcome to day two of fan page training for models. Um, yesterday we talked about how to create a fan page, and uh, if you want to review that, you can. Um, but today we're going to talk about graphics and capturing your potential fan's eye. And the two most important graphics that you can have on your fan page are right here in this area, the sidebar. And this can be 200 pixels wide by 600 pixels uh, long. Um, of course, it can be shorter on either dimension or both, but that's the maximum, 200 by 600. Of course, it's Facebook, so that's subject to change at any time. Um, and the other area where you can somewhat modify your graphics or do something a little, with, uh, a little bit with is right here. In, in what they call the photo banner. Now, you may note that in regular Facebook profile pages, like for your personal site, you can actually get a banner maker made for these. Um, just search for banner maker, upload a banner that you want. Um, I believe the image uh, dimensions are 485 wide by 68 in height. All you do is you take that photo or that image, you um, apply it to this application that's within Facebook. It splits up the, the images into five different pieces and aligns them in whatever order you want. Um, you cannot at this moment, as far as I know, do that with a Facebook fan page, interestingly enough. So what I do suggest you do is size everything appropriately so that it fits within these little tiny squares where you can't see the lines but they're they're there and the the rough dimensions are 97 pixels wide by 68 pixels high. So if you make all of your images those dimensions, they will at least fit within the imaginary boxes. You cannot order these at this time, like if I wanted to move this one to here, I couldn't do it. These little X's will get rid of photos, but it won't allow you to move them around. So let's get down to making some of those uh, images. I'll, I'll show you how to make a sidebar, and I'll show you how to make one of these images. So to make a sidebar, you can go to Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, GIMP, or any of a number of online photo editing uh, applications. And I'll put those links, or at least a link to one of them, in the blog post that announces uh, this video. So I use Photoshop Elements. It's easy and cheap, and it's not free like GIMP but, or, or any of the online ones, but it's what I have. So first, you want to start with File, New, Blank File call it sidebar and then you want to make it 200 by 600 and hit OK. So that's what it looks like. The next step I do is I add a bunch of layers. Okay, Doesn't really matter how many, just more than enough is better than not enough. So go back down to layer 1 and make it make this canvas whatever color you want it to be. So let's make it black and then we'll dump some paint into it. That doesn't look black though, does it? Black is all zeros, six zeros. So we'll just dump black in there. And then we'll go to layer two and add some text. Um, you know, it could be virtually anything, but we'll make it, you know, something readable. Put benefits here. I'll we'll make that a little bit smaller and then move it around. Make it a little bit smaller so it fits. So there's that. And then you can just bullet them out. Here, oops, mistake. Okay. 
anyway, apparently I clicked the wrong thing. I clicked a, a different tool. So put your benefits here. It keeps going to that. That's weird. Anyway, obviously I'm not a graphic artist. Um, so. Okay. Next layer might be, you know, an image. So let's bring in an image. We'll open a recently edited one. And then all you really have to do is drag the image in there. Move it. Like so. I generally put the website address at the bottom. www.url.com, whatever that happens to be. Move it, center it a little bit. There we go. Um, key thing here is even though these images are not searchable yet by the search engines, one day they might be, so you might as well plan for that, but get used to thinking in terms of keywords. What keywords are you are you hoping that people will use to find you and your web page and your fan page. Um, so all the keyword research that you or your webmaster does with respect to your uh, web page should go into this fan page because you want people to be able to find you using the terms um, that you know that they're going to use. Um, so if you're a fitness model, you definitely want to put fitness model in here. Um, you want to put your name in here. Um, if you are a spokes model, you want to put that word, that term in. If you're, um, you know, looking or seeking engagements or gigs or whatever, put that terminology in here. What you want to do is you have literally about five to ten seconds to capture somebody's interest and either get them to like you or not. These two elements here, the sidebar and here, this is more of a cleanliness and, and does my fan page look clean and crisp and not cluttered? This is going to communicate a lot. Okay, so tomorrow when we talk about creating a landing page, we'll make um, a great first impression. Um, however, these elements are critical as well because they're going to be on every single page. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. Anyway, what you do then is uh, go back to the image and you can save it. We saved it to sidebar. And then you want to save it in a web friendly format. I save in uh, .png and you can call it the same name. It'll just have a different extension. And interlaced because that renders better on the web, especially on slow connections. And that's, that's your that's your graphic. Obviously it's not, this isn't a good one, um, but I showed you the, the key elements. Um, put your benefits here, put an image at the top, um, put your URL at the bottom. You could even put a tagline in here somewhere. Um, think about keywords, put those keywords in here. How do you want people to search for you or how do you think people are going to search for what you offer? Alright, so um, that's the end of this training. I know it was brief, but what we're really looking at is the sidebar and the photo banner at the top. So now you're going to want to actually upload that photo that you made over here. Um, I closed the, the page, but you're going to want to upload that photo and all you need to do is hover over this, click change picture, go to browse, find your video, or your, your image rather, Uh, we called it sidebar, right? So sidebar, open. And that's what the picture looks like. All right, I'll change this in a minute. But another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to edit the thumbnail. 
and you're going to want to move this down so that your graphic actually appears in the window. And then if you go back to view the page, you will see that your graphic is here and that little icon you just made shows up here. Um, in order to get these pictures up here, what you want to do is go to photos and say upload photos, select photos, um, pick whatever you want here, name the album, and then create the album. So this is your album. That's what the graphic looks like, all right? And then go look at your page. That should be on your wall. It's there, it just doesn't fit, so, but that's where it would show up. Um, all right, so that's it. That's the end of this recording. Um, tomorrow, we will talk about uh, capturing, or making a landing page, which is, uh, a really critical element that you need to put on your custom Facebook fan page. Alright, thanks a lot guys.